Welcome back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. Today the guys are out with Captain Chad Billiot, the marsh rat, fishing the gulf side of East Timbalier Island, catching tons of trout, redfish, and even some snapper. They launched out of Golden Meta and they're catching tons of fish because they're using live bait under corks. And what's funny is today the redfish are eating the shrimp and the trout are eating the croakers. He got one eating it right now. Oh, I just pulled that one out of, my, out of his mouth. I had him for a second. Sean got a speckled trout. Go on that side, Sean. Land him on the other side. There you go. Slimy two pound trout. as much a battle in the water as you're out the water to land. Shrimp is canny to anything in the Gulf, so whether it be trout out here, which this is a trout right now, I feel them shaking like a trout, to redfish, to mangrove, to drum, to catfish, hardheads, to sheephead, pinfish, everything lives out here. Well, he felt like a trout. I guess he turned into a little red red. He was trashing around enough down there like a trout. But they're all the perfect eating size. Yep. I do get bulls here occasionally, but 90% of the time it's all this size fish. But that's, I mean. That's your, that's your eaters right there, yeah. You don't want to eat bulls, they're just. They're trying to flop out of there. Hey, Chad, how long have we been fishing out here? I think. 15 minutes. 15, 20 maybe? <laughs> the most, yeah. Doesn't cast take long. Doesn't take long. It's it. it's our hard, really, really difficult late summer fishing. It's just extremely difficult to catch fish right now, as you can tell. <laughs> Do you want me to say? They're biting. In South Louisiana, they're biting. I mean, typically we'll catch them on the uh, sandbars where everybody wants to fish. Sandbars, they're still catching fish on the sandbars. But a lot of the fish I'm seeing on the sandbars are just not quality sized fish. A lot of little males. A lot of late summer uh, fish that were born last year that's just sitting on the sandbars eating. So yeah, uh, the good stuff I'm looking for is not out there yet. I'm gonna try an artificial to see. I'm gonna see if they if they if we got them motivated enough. I mean, every time I hit the water with a, a live shrimp, it's like it goes nuts to eating it off. <laughs> you might have something good there, Sean. What you think? Out here, you just don't know. Out here, you just don't know. Any hooks that you make here could be a 12 pound trout. Because they do exist. But he's acting more like a good redfish, so money didn't add on my Sean. Oh yeah. Let's get, it, let's get the net out. Let's get the net out here. Let's get the net out here for a second. Since we got finally upper class redfish, still not a true bull, but I mean, he's on the line of 27, 28 inches long. But in eight, nine, 10 foot of water, he fights like a true bull. Come up with him one more time for me, Sean. There he is. What's that? That hook looked like it was barely even in the mouth. It might have been. Go back and keep. We can. He's keeping. I'd rather the little ones. Unless you, unless you want a half shell one, I'd rather the little ones. If I'm going to eat them. I like those guys. I like those guys right there. Let me see if I can get one to bite Pinky. I can get one to bite Pinky. We get a double or triple up over there. That's my buddy Jody. It's okay to put him on. Yeah, go ahead. 
I got one hit of plastic. Did you? Yeah. Go Figured I'd chunk out my assassin, hot pinky. Look at that dead plastic. As many, I don't know what they're biting. You know, some, some days I get here and they're a little slower. Some days they're like this here and they're just hot and heavy. But they're pretty thick with fish, so I had to give it a try. Another little redfish. Redfish. You know, when they're biting live bait like crazy. And one of your best sponsors is saltwater assassins. You got to throw a saltwater assassin out there. What you, what you fishing with right there? It's a pink straight tail assassin. This one is, this one is exactly, I'll show you the cover of them. Of course, it's a secret. You can't tell too many people that. They might want to come here and use my bait. I might want to come in and catch my fish in my artificial baits. The pink ghost, I saw with a shad. Kind of works. What, what, uh, the color, does it mimic? What's it mimic? Well, it mimics the shad. Take a shot, get him in here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, actually, the color mimics the shrimp. It does. Yeah, see, yeah, know. yeah. It, it's, I mean, There's a lot of pink, there's a lot of pink in, in, in a white shrimp when it's alive and fresh in the water. This one is bright, bright pink too, of course. That didn't really take long. <laughs> didn't really take long. Now, now Ted, why did you make them spend all that money on live bait? To make sure you had fish. <laughs> Here's Sean. First one was a redfish. Second one's a speckled trout. Kick him this way. Yeah, smell like you caught a fish, Frank. At least like you, you were near a fish. Go ahead. Now look, I probably won't get a net on the bite. Oh, never mind. Never mind, I got net on the bite. Look at him tail walking out of there. He just did a nice little dive straight in the sky. If it catch him on that artificial, I can take that shrimp home with Yeah, you can do that. You can eat the crocus too. Maybe, maybe you can head the crocus up and just, head the crocus up and, and just put them in a gumbo and cook them down. Oh yeah? Chop I don't know. <laughs> make them like I'm sardines? Just, I'm just shooting over hip here. <laughs> you can try it. So, make them like sardines. Huh? Yeah, you like sardines? Well, I don't know, there was some kind of a little grinning male. Crook, 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 crook. Shrimp jumping by the boat. Redfish is easy. We're done with the redfish limit in about two more minutes. <laughs> That's why I'm not worried about throwing them back. You can, you can catch the limit of redfish here 10 times right now. Yes. Five, 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 five a person, so we can, we'll have 15 in a heartbeat. Fish in your face! Flying fish! And what that means? Yeah, what it means? I'm asking Sean if he knows. I thought when we filmed last time that the theory is when the blue tails, when their tails are bright blue, that means they ain't feeding frenzy. Every redfish I catch has a blue tip tail, so they must always be in a feeding frenzy. <laughs> What's up, Sean? Cajun bonefish. Littlin. Oh, we're gonna let him grow. Let him grow. Yeah, we're gonna let him grow. Something good, he says. Something good, a little good, or good, big good? Oh, this is something real good to me. Something real good to you? Have my line screaming. 
pushing Chad all around this boat. Yeah, I don't like that. It is. Hold on, I got something good too. Well, I had something good too. I pulled out this mountain. There's a little redfish. Breathing hard? Yeah, Must dead sticks for less. Simple trick. Roll inside of there. When both fishermen come to me and say that. You can't unhook a deeply hooked redfish or fish without killing them. I just proved it like a million and one times. I do that all the time. I go through the gills and roll it out and roll it. He lives fine. Shake a head. Well, only, be only because we, we're probably done with redfish count. Not that, I, not, that I'm, not that I'm picky over either one. I, I like eating both of them. They always got one longer tooth than the rest. Yeah, that's to catch their prey. Yeah, yeah, let that one grow yeah. for sure. What are you trying to say? <laughs> what are you trying to complain about, Franklin? That one wasn't dead. Well, it was dead. It was pulled out of a fish's mouth. Oh, it was still edible, wasn't it? Well, I guess, technically. Technically.